Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and welcome to the Gauchito Antiquity Escalation. This is the Deluxe Escalation, just got released today. I've already done the Prolof Parable and now I've moved on to the Gauchito Antiquity. So we're going to do all three levels, Silent Assassin. And for level one, we have to acquire a syringe, acquire a grenade, become the guru, and we have to start with basically no items in our inventory, apart from the camera, of course, but we don't use that. So uh, we need to retrieve those two items, grab the disguise, and then we have to take out our target. So from the very start, uh, because you've got a restricted start location as well. We're just going to trigger this conversation between the lawyer and Yates. And we're going to use an opportunity that was in the main mission to actually get free access around the mansion area. Because that's where we ultimately needed to go. So we are going to wait for this conversation to finish and play out. Uh, the lawyer is going to come over here into this area where I am right now. And we're going to knock him out and hide him in this little uh, this plant bed. And we're going to take his disguise. And that's how we're going to get into the mansion. So we won't have any problems going through around there so that what I would say is uh, don't subdue him until he actually uh, starts leaning over the ledge because you can get spotted so you just keep that in mind so we're going to put on his disguise and uh, we're going to go straight to over to these two guards over here we're going to get through the frisk zone so just need to get frisked we have no illegal items on us anyway so no need to worry and out of the three levels that I've actually played throughout this escalation, I honestly think this level one is probably, the, in terms of uh, the fact that you have to be disguised as the guru, I'd probably, I'd probably say this one is the hardest one out of the three levels. It's a bit, a bit odd, really. But uh, I can see what they're trying to do. Because they're trying to, like, again, highlight the uh, the syringe, the grenade, and the, the guru outfit, which you obviously unlock just by playing this escalation. So once we get over here in this section here, we're just going to leap over this wall. We're going to uh, climb the set of stairs. I'm going to get the syringe, so it's going to be where the sniper is. So whether, whether, if you know where the sniper is, the lookout, you'll you'll know where that syringe is. It's just going to be here on the left on the table. Just want to go ahead and grab that. Next, we're going to go for the grenade. So we're going to climb down here, slide down the pipe, and uh, jumped off here. It's not a pipe; it's a beam. My bad. Grab that crowbar. We don't even use it, but grab it anyway. Now we're going to run to the entrance of the house. There's going to be two guards guarding a gate. We're actually going to talk to the guard, uh, guard on the left, and he's going to lead us in. And once we've finished that conversation with the guard on the left, uh, we will be allowed to walk around the mansion completely free without any problems, with any, without any enforcers. That gives us a chance to at least to... Uh, Get in the mansion area and get set up what we need to do. So once he walks in, we are going to follow him and come inside. The grenade is just going to be on this table. It's going to be an illegal action picking it up, so make sure no one's looking at you while you're doing it. Once you've done that, make sure you put it away. And now what you're going to do is talk to Yates. That's going to get rid of him and his entourage uh, so you have more time and ease of actually getting your target. So we're just going to talk to him. As soon as you engage in the conversation, you can run away. It doesn't matter. That get, that conversation will play out. He's going to go inside with his old entourage. And meanwhile, we're now going to go and get the disguise, which is going to be in the attic in the mansion itself. So it's just going to be here on the pile of boxes. I'm going to put that on real quick. Jump out the window. Go back and retrace our steps. Drop down here, slide down the pipe. Now we can drop down, drop again, and then we need to get over this other area. Just watch out for this guard that's moving over here. We are going to knock him out a little bit later on. You can knock him out now if you want to and hide him in the bushes. But uh, just in case you might get spotted by your target over there, we're just going to wait for it after. What I would recommend is not doing about what I'm about to do. I'm actually going to poison him, but do that. Definitely do that. But go ahead and subdue him and then snap his neck. Don't... Uh, push him for an accident kill because we need his disguise and it'll be a lot easier to take this one than the person we are about to take so what I did is poison him with the emetic syringe and then I went over to this guard over here and knocked him out but because I think this is a little bit risky because he's turning around here because you might not have enough time what I probably would recommend is just subduing your uh, that target when he's poisoned and then snap his neck and then throw him over the ledge or just hide him in the bushes or whatever because you don't as long as you kill him while you're wearing that disguise it's fine because now we've got this disguise, we're allowed to get to the exit. 
You can do it in the Guru Alpha if you want to by coming to this exit, but I still think it's a little bit easier with this disguise. Because instead of having to deal with uh, both guards, you now got to deal with one guard. So it's a lot easier in my opinion. Uh -huh. But it's entirely up to you how you tackle that. I can only give you my advice and give you a guide. And uh, that is how you complete the Silent Assassin for level 1. Get a confirmation of that Silent Assassin. Let's move on to level 2. Level 2, they switched things up a little bit. So now you have three targets. They're going to be the winery workers. And you need to poison all three of those and kill them while they're poisoned. So we have a restricted loadout and we can't change our starting disguise this time. So our loadout this time, we have the syringe and the emetic grenade in our inventory from the get-go. We automatically have the disguise as well, which is good. And But we have three targets now and they're all going to be winery workers. And it's relatively easy, really, if as long as you follow exactly what I'm doing, of course. So the first two targets are going to be talking about uh, uh, basically an opportunity in the main mission. So we're just going to throw a medic grenade there right in between them. That will trigger and then now they're both poisoned. And what we're going to do now is wait patiently because they are going to both come up the stairs and they're going to be uh, being sick in the bins outside. So that's what they're going to do. So while they're doing that, that's when we're going to go and subdue them and snap their neck and then dump the body over the ledge to get rid of these two guards real quickly. Well, they're not guards, targets, I should say. So they each get their own bin. So subdue him and snap his neck. Throw him into the, uh, the flowers. And do the same thing with the other target too. Nice and easy. Just going to dump him here into the flower bed. There we go. So we've got one more target. And he's going to be downstairs mopping uh, the floor. So we're going to syringe him. The only problem with him is because he's mopping, he can, has a tendency to turn around quite a lot. So you just need to be aware of this target. So we're actually going to pull out the emetic syringe. Grab that can right there. And then get behind him, stab him with the emetic syringe, and wait for him to walk away. Because uh, I don't want to kill him right here and now, just in case his body gets found. But as long as we wait for him to walk away down the alleyway, we can just smack the, uh, the, the soda can that we just picked up on the back of his head, and then just snap his neck real quick. There we go. His body doesn't get found there, so you don't have to worry about it. But the exit is relatively close anyway, so we're just going to retrace our steps and come up this ladder. And just climb the stairs. And we're just going back to that uh, shrine start location. That is also an ending location. Just a, just a word of note as well, you can't actually access these exits in uh, the main missions. It was the same with the, the, the one we just did, the Prolof Parable. The exits on that isn't the same as the main missions themselves. Which is interesting, I like that. It all fits the... Uh, it all fits the, um, what's the... What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. That's annoying, that is. I'll, I'll figure it out later on. Anyway, that's Silent Assassin for level 2. Level 3, we have to enable uh, eliminate 5 targets while they're, they're poisoned. And the same rules apply. We can't change the disguise. We've got restricted loadout, blah, blah, blah. But all 5 targets are going to be in the wine barrel room now. But uh, overall, this is uh, one of the easiest levels, as long as you know what you're doing, of course. So what first thing we're going to do, we need to get ourselves a suppressed pistol. Because we don't have a gun and it would be very very handy to have one so the best place to get one is going to be in the bathroom that's just going to be in the far right corner over here it's going to be our bodyguard in there it's also going to be another npc so you just have to need to make sure he's not looking at you and he's obviously in his own little cubicle while you're taking the other guard out well you don't want him to get spotted or anything like that so the guard at the end here he's going to have a suppressed pistol on him and he's going to have a key card we're going to take them both Pick them both up, 
and then uh, we're going to use the keycard on the door, and then we're going to drag the body and hide him in the crate that's in the corridor. The reason why we're doing this is because if we hide him in the cubicle, the body will be found by the people that we're going to poison a little bit later on. So just dump his body in his crate. And while we're here, we're going to take out this bodyguard. Just be careful of the, left, the two guards on the left, but most of the time they'll have their backs to you, so don't need to worry too much. Grab his gun and I'll drag his body and put him in the crate too, with his buddy. And the reason we're up here is because one, we need to take out uh, the cameras. Not completely necessary, but we need to do that anyway. Um, and we need to disable the security doors. And we need to ventilate the barrel room, otherwise the poison is not going to work. Now we're just going to pull out our suppressed pistol and take out the evidence real quick. Don't worry about the bullet impact notice, we're running away anyway, so they don't notice that it was us that took the shot. The silent and assassin tracker are all still green. Don't worry. Once you're in this area here, wait for the guard to be next to this uh, winery worker, pull out your medic grenade, and then chuck it at their feet. Both of them should get poisoned to here. You'll know you've done it right by having the, uh, the enforcer symbol above their head should be disappeared. Grab the rat poison from the left, what we just did. And then we're going to poison the ventilation system and turn it on. Once you've done that, you'll be aware that all five targets are now poisoned. Before you go in there, make sure you turn off the ventilation system, though, because it will uh, affect you if you go in there. It can kill you. So, we shot the cameras there. I don't know. You don't necessarily have to do that. Obviously, we took out the evidence already earlier, so we don't need to worry about those cameras. But, uh, yeah. We're just popping heads. It's literally this. Because there's no one else that comes out in this area, so we can leave these bodies here. So it's best way to just, instead of following them all and snapping the necks, because it, it can be random where they go as well. So you're better off just taking them all out real quick with the pistol. And that's easy as that. What we've got to do now is head to the exit, which is going to be in the grape field. And I think it's just a, a way to exit to say that we've, we're done in Mendoza, so we're leaving. Rather than just going back to the shrine. So I understand why they've mixed that up and changed it a little bit. But I'm just going to show you a nice easy path to get to the exit itself. So in the field there's going to be a lot of workers. And there's going to be some patrolling guards too. So just find a little gap in the, uh, in the field itself where there's no one around. Use your instinct. Be aware of your minimap when you're looking around. Be aware of all the guards. Like these guards on the left here. So we're just going to run to the outer edge. And we've just got an instance of straight shot to the exit now. That guard shouldn't see you. But once we've exited here, that's a nice, easy silent assassin for level 3. So like I said, after beyond uh, just even playing this escalation... You get the reward of the Guru Disguise, uh, the the Emetic Grenade, and the Emetic Syringe as well. So, it's a nice little reward for all the Deluxe Edition players. It's a nice, easy Silent Assassin. And that covers the entire escalation. So, hopefully you've enjoyed the Gauchito Antiquity Escalation. Hopefully that's helped you. And if it did, drop a like on the video. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And if you've missed any escalations that I've covered so far for Hitman 3, there'll be a link just in a few seconds on screen of taking you to that full playlist. You can check that out if you want to. A big shout out to Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedry, Argel, Mark David, Constantine Mueller and the Crazy Jesus from the top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate your support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.